it's heartbreaking, Andy. It's, it's for everybody to connect in with the city, the football club. You know, the heads certainly need banging together, don't they? To you know, to get past this impasse and. You just hope that in the next few weeks they, they can resolve their issues and make sure there's still football in country because it's got so much heritage. You can see you can see by how many ex players have turned up today, the importance it is still for the players and you know the, the supporters of the football club. So um, you know I think it could be a bit like Brexit where there might be a deal done at the eleventh hour. I'm hoping so anyway. Tragic uh, is a word. I mean I don't know the politics behind everything that's gone on or what's going on at the minute, but it is sad. But it, you know, you, we're in a great stadium here at the minute, but it should be Coventry City Stadium, not the Rico Arena that doesn't belong to us anymore. Uh, I don't know who was behind everything that's gone on. I don't really want to know because I've got a big gob me and I tend to <laughs> shout out when I find out things, so I don't really want to know. It's, 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 it's difficult really, you know, having that long run in the Premier League and then it kind of going from bad to worse and then really bad. But like I say, the look like they've turned the corner a little bit obviously going up last season helped but I think until they got the the CC organisation either putting money in or get them out you're going to have the same problems because nobody, nobody, nobody knows what's really going on so it must be a real difficult time for a commentary fan